Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So my name is Sam and today we're going to talk about how you cannot overspend on Black Friday. So to start off, I actually got in the spirit with my holiday shirt because most of us, I guess, go shopping on Black Friday to buy gifts for the holidays. So I figured why not get in the spirit. Black Friday can be a really great thing for your wallet or an absolute horrible thing for your wallet. Because think about this, if you already needed something, then going and buying it on sale, well, win-win. But the problem that arises is most of the time we buy things that we didn't actually need just because they're on sale. So that brings me to my first tip. And if you didn't need it when it wasn't on sale, you don't need it now. So think to yourself when you're at the store on Black Friday, did I come here for this? Is this something that I already needed? And maybe a bonus isn't on sale, but don't just buy things because they're on sale. So that's the first thing. Now our next tip is actually setting like a limit or a budget for your spending. So let's say you go to the store and you know that you need to buy for X amount of gifts for this many people. And I just say gifts because a lot of people go Black Friday shopping to get like Christmas gifts, Hanukkah gifts, things like that. So with that, actually write a list of everyone that you want to buy for. Now, when you make your budget though, sometimes people just say, oh, I'm just gonna spend $200 or 400 or whatever, whatever your budget is. But I suggest actually making a budget per person. Cause sometimes when you're at the store, you start kind of adding things up in your head and you lose count and you're just like, oh, well, whatever, it's fine. Like it'll be okay, the price. But we don't wanna think about it like that. We wanna say, okay, I have $20 to spend on each person. So if I have 10 people to buy for, my budget is $200. And every single time that I go into a store and I say, okay, I'm going to buy for this person, I make sure that it checks out to be $20. And if it's more, well, then I got to cut from some other places, maybe do now not $19 a person or things like that. But really make sure that you set that budget ahead. Now, also a really good tip to keep that budget in check is to actually pay via cash. Now, I know you can't really do this for Cyber Monday because you can't pay cash online, but this is a great tip for Black Friday. So I suggest actually taking, let's say we had the $200 budget. If we take $200 take it out of cash and now you only have that. Now even take it out in 20s, if let's say 20 is your budget per person, you only take out one $20 bill per person and that keeps you in check for everyone. And also with that kind of a side note, not one of my tips, but don't even worry about things being like perfect for the gift. You might be like, oh, well, what can you get with $20? Who cares? The gift is really meant to be kind of that sentimental thing to just show, hey, I thought about you, hey, I cared about you. So just try and get away from worrying how much the gift is and if it's the perfect gift and things like that. In the end, it really doesn't matter too, too much. That's not the point of the holidays. But I know we do like to give some gifts and that sentiment and kind of showing that we care in a materialistic way sometimes. So then it's okay, set that budget, go shopping, and that's okay too. Now with that, we talked about saying, okay, a budget for each individual person, but in order to do that, you need to have a list. You need to have a game plan. Don't just blindly go to the store and say, okay, I'm just gonna shop for Christmas because that is very, very vague. So have the list of who you want to shop for. Maybe actually also have exact items that you want to get for that person. So if you have a list of 20 people that you want to buy for, each person next to you say, okay, I know this person really likes this. This is what I want to purchase at the store. Now that leads into my next point of do your research ahead. Because if you know that, let's say this one person really likes, I don't know, candles from Bath and Body Works or something like that. Now go to their website, see if it's an actual sale. Because on Black Friday, sometimes they post these big, oh, this is on sale, this is on sale. And they do all these tactics to try and think that you're saving money but you're actually not. There's so many other days of the year that you can get the same sale on these items. As well as sometimes they say like, oh, buy one, get one free, but then they'll jack up the price even more. So do your research ahead of time because actually stores, and this is kind of another tip on top of that, stores do a lot of things to make you think that you're getting a better deal, but you're actually not. So they'll do like a buy one, get one, but higher the price or, different things like that. So you think that you're 
saving money, but you're either spending more or you're not even getting a deal on it. Now, also with that idea of the stores kind of do things to lure you in and make you spend more money is if you ever notice, think about a store like, okay, you go to Target, you go to the mall, there's no clocks anywhere. And the reason that there's no clocks is psychologically, they want you to actually spend more time in the store. They want you to like lose track of time. So you actually like pick up more things and you purchase more things. So set a timer or actually have a clock with you. Now I know we all have our cell phones, so you could say that's your clock, but you put that in your purse or you put it away and you are still not really cognizant of the time. So what I suggest is actually have a watch and say, okay, I'm going to go in the store. I have 10 minutes. I have 20 minutes, whatever you want to set that threshold to, but say, okay, I'm going to stick to this. If I don't find what I need, then I'm going to leave. Or also at that time, then stop looking for things because the more time you're in the store, logically, the more things you're going to put in your cart and the more money you're going to essentially spend as well. Oh, now one thing that I forgot to mention is when I talked about the list of people that are going to shop for, don't really worry about all those like extras. Now I know that might sound bad, but when I mean extras, like don't buy a gift for Aunt Susie's daughter, cute puppy that she just bought. Yeah, sure, it might be fun where you go and you give the dog a gift as well, but realistically, you don't need to give the dog. The dog doesn't even know that it's the holiday season and everyone's getting gifts. You could hand him the wrapping paper that you wrapped something in and the dog's probably gonna just have the same amount of fun. So even though it's cute doing those little extras and making it the best gift possible, like I mentioned before, don't worry about things being perfect. Don't worry about all those like little details in the gift giving process too. And that's gonna save you some money because all these little trinkets for every little person will essentially just save money as is. Now the next one is just simply remind yourself of these consequences. Now in the moment you might be like, oh my God, this is so cute. I wanna buy this for so-and-so or even I wanna buy this for myself. But think about the consequences. If you buy it for yourself, you're bringing more clutter into your own home. And kind of going back to the first rule is, did you really need this when it wasn't on sale? Maybe or maybe not. If you didn't need it when it was not on sale and now it is on sale, no sense bringing it into your home and more clutter. Also think about other people's homes as well. You don't wanna just give them clutter. So think about, weigh your options. Say, oh, would they really enjoy this? Would they really like this? Or would they not enjoy it as much? And maybe there's a different route or maybe there's even something that you could make rather than buy. Just think about the individual person because that's really, really helpful in buying gifts. So that's with like the consequences of obviously like the clutter aspect of it, but also think about the consequences of your wallet. If you spend, I don't know, I don't know what you guys think is like an absurd amount to spend on people, but let's say, I don't know, maybe you spend $50 on a person, $100, $200, whatever you think is like a crazy amount. Think about your wallet at the end of the day. If you spend that on every person, or even if you just spend that on yourself or your husband or whoever you're thinking of buying for, in the end, maybe you're not going to be able to hit that financial goal. And maybe that's your consequence. Maybe you're not going to be able to save for retirement. Now it might seem, oh wow, Sam, that's like a little extreme saving for retirement when I just spent like a hundred dollars here on this person. But in the end, that just brings your mindset for all the other things that you're spending money on. So if you're willing to spend money here, you're also maybe willing to spend on Cyber Monday. You're also willing to spend just going to the store and being like, oh, I see this cute sale. I want to go ahead and buy that. So all that kind of adds up hundred dollars here, hundred dollars there. And all of that is money that you could be investing, that you could be utilizing for something better. Now, whatever that is that you deem as better, that's fine. But still, just think about the consequences in your own life and what you could be using that extra money essentially for, maybe even just going on vacation. Something as simple as that, it still could be an extra benefit. Now, my last and final tip is the best way to not overspend on Black Friday is do something else on Black Friday. Now, you don't have to go to the store on Black Friday. Spend more time with family. Spend time with your husband. Maybe have a me day and just hang out by yourself. Whatever you want to do, do that so it kind of keeps your mind off of the Black Friday. When people are posting, oh, I got this nice deal on Facebook, and they're posting all these things and stuff. Get off of Facebook. Stop worrying about that because then you might be drawn in. Be like, oh my God, there was this really good deal. I should go to the store. Um, and then 
then you'll kind of get sucked into all of it. So if you don't need to shop for anyone, you don't need to do anything like that, then don't go to the store. It's as simple as that. Like for myself, my family isn't big on gifts. I literally do, and I'll explain this in another video, but with my one family, so meaning my side of the family, we do a secret Santa. And for my fiance side of the family, we do a secret Santa. He is the oldest of eight brothers and sisters. So you can imagine buying for every little kid is going to be a immense amount of money. So we just do a secret Santa. Same with my family, with all my cousins and parents and stuff. We all just pick names out of a hat and now I have to buy two gifts. So even just think about doing things like that, maybe even bring that up at Thanksgiving. Hey, can we do a secret Santa instead so it's a little bit cost effective for people? And then maybe you don't even need to spend as much on Black Friday. Now I'll have a whole nother video about like gifts and things like that for the holidays and how to not overspend on just the holidays overall. But these are just a couple quick tips to basically show you how you could not spend on Black Friday. Now a lot of these tips can also apply to Cyber Monday. Obviously the paying in cash and things like that, that can pertain to it, but still setting a list, setting a budget, um, thinking about the outcome, all of those things could also help on Cyber Monday too. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below. Let me know. I'm curious to hear like what your budgets are for each individual person. Also, I'm curious about like what you're doing on Black Friday. Are you actually going shopping or are you staying home doing something else to kind of distract yourself from that Black Friday? I'd love to hear more about that. So definitely comment down below. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Also like, comment, and subscribe if you did like this video. Join my little YouTube family and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.